admit just before leaping into battle? Oh, you mean like, not in the face, not in the face! Hmm, lacks force, chum. No, more like, like, uh... Spoon! <laughs> Why a spoon? Why not a spoon? It's one of the best beauty tools ever, and I guarantee you already have one of these. So stay tuned, we're going to do some tips in real time on how you can make the most out of your spoons. So tip number one, if you have itty bitty spoons like this, and you have false eyelashes, you can use them. You put your glue in your false eyelashes facing your eyelashes. Um, do your mascara and curl your eyelashes. You can use your spoon to kind of work your false eyelashes down like from here down. This is the child spoon. The curve on it is the same size as the instrument that they use to help people put false eyelashes on and it's kind of silly to buy yet another thing. Number two. Um, I always say try to keep your fingers out of your makeup, try to keep your fingers out of your eye cream, try to keep your fingers out of the jars because the oil and the bacteria and the germs on your finger end up in your makeup and your skincare and it keep, spreads in deeper. Use a spoon. A spoon is also a great way if you have one of those tubes that spit out way too much product, you can take it and put it in a separate Tupperware container so you don't end up with eye cream for you in the entire neighborhood. I'm telling you, spoons. Number three, um, you can chill your spoons in your fridge and if your eyes are puffy or allergy prone, just lay down and put your chilled spoons on. It will help boost the circulation and it's also free in your cabinet. Just pop them in your freezer. Four, using a teaspoon as an eyelash curler. You want to warm up your spoon Take your spoon up, just kind of work your eyelashes into your spoon and just kind of curl them. This is also great for if you have mascara that has a tendency to go every place, you kind of avoid that by using your spoon as your shield to keep the rest of your eye makeup clean. And if you do dot mascara like I just did, let it dry and just flick it off. That easy, just kind of take it, push your lashes in, go from root to tip. And number four, you can use your spoon as an outlining tool to do a cat eye. You're going to take the flat part, line it up with your lower eyelashes, bring it down, draw that down. And it doesn't really matter if you get it on your spoon. Your spoon is just your outline piece. Take the curved part, match it up with the other part, bring that down, and that becomes part two of your cat of your outline. You just match them up, bring them down. It's another way doing it if you're having trouble getting it even or you end up with eyeliner all over the place there you go one of the things going around Pinterest and YouTube is never ask a woman with wing eyeliner what took her so long Well. Get that nifty little trick. Your wing eyeliner is a lot quicker.
And there you go. Four ways to use a spoon. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments or any ideas on these videos, let me know.